think of eternal life. At the beginning of my message, I suggested with a smile that some of you might be hoping to find a prospect for marriage, perhaps in the not too distant future. May I offer a word of counsel in addition to that quotation from President McKay about keeping your eyes wide open. The commandment to love our neighbors without discrimination is certain, but it must not be misunderstood. It applies generally. Selection of a marriage partner, on the other hand, involves specific and not general criteria. After all, you can only be married to one individual. The probabilities of a successful marriage are known to be much greater if both the husband and wife are united in their religion, language, culture, and ethnic background. Thus, in choosing your eternal companion, please be wise. It's better not to fly in the face of constant headwinds. Occasional squalls provide challenge enough. Travis Wayne Goodsell, I'm not getting enough views, and so I'm going to keep pushing this. President Russell M. Nelson as an Apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints speaking at BYU at a devotional January 8th 1995 that's the quote I put it at the beginning of this video as I did a separate video just of it and I did the original video and not enough of you are watching the video we need hundreds of thousands of millions of millions of views this is necessary because everybody in the news even says well Nelson came out and said we shouldn't be racist this shows us specifically tells us his thinking on racism and it's the separate but equal segregationalist racist principle and that he talks about general non-discrimination and the church believes in that full-heartedly but he throws in a but when it comes to marriage you can't marry someone of another ethnic group he says that very clearly now I understand religion it can't be done because Catholics are not Mormon and so they can't be sealed in the temples but I did the video the other week as I told you I was collecting all the talks of Brigham Young and I did the video segment of an update for you of where I found he claimed it was God's law to murder mixed grace families not the Mormon but the whole family that the seed cannot exist and that was God's law this is where Nelson got that concept from as he says think of eternity eternal life your eternal marriage partner he says after all you can only choose one He's referring to polygamy and how the United States is holding back religious freedom from Mormons and using that as an excuse to justify not marrying someone you love who may just happen to be of a different ethnic group. This is dangerous and deadly doctrine being taught and perpetuated by the 
now president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So when you see him shaking hands and hugging and speaking at uh, lectures at, for the NAACP, he claims that he's got new friendships there. He's referring to what he said in 1995 as general non-discrimination. In referring to the Arizona law the other week, much the Brad Wilcox scandal. They, the church came out with an official statement supporting the bill because it had a non-discrimination part to it. And the church fully embraces that. General non-discrimination. But the church also made sure to have in that Arizona bill a religious freedom for specific discrimination. The separate but equal segregationalist, racist, white supremacist principle. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a hate group. It doesn't matter if the Southern Poverty Law Center can't figure it out and are being duped by them. Or if they're being threatened by the church not to designate the church as a hate group. The facts are clear. They are a hate group. They are promoting hate, teaching hate to Mormons to spread it all over the world. End of discussion.